the phrase you hear a lot is the fourth wall. We break the fourth wall. I, I feel that's not really accurately describing it because I don't think there's a fourth wall to begin with. I feel like we don't break anything. We just, we're just in here together. So music, art, com community, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a collective experience. Uh, and I think when you sit down and you're in it, you do feel like you're in it. You're, you're in the middle of something and it's really special. Ready, go. My name is Mark Frankel. I'm the uh, Blue Man captain here at the Astor Place Theater. I've been performing with Blue Man for 15 years. I've performed all around the world with Blue Man, so it's been a really fun and varied career. If you told the character of the Blue Man, hey, go build an instrument, it seems like this instrument is exactly what they would build because it, it ticks off so many boxes for Blue Man, for the Blue Man, it, for the show. It's, it's sculpture, you know? It's low tech. It's, um, it's beautiful to look at. It's percussive, it's primal, it's played with three blue men. These are all things that are very fundamental aspects to, to Blue Man Group and to the show. This is only the second set we've ever had. This is, this is a, the, the, the debut of the second PVC set that we've had in this theater. Do it! This one's sometimes the hardest one to play yeah, in that, many ways. Because if you go across, right? set was in here for pretty much 27 years and essentially they were loved to death you know, you know what I love about that instrument and I, and I do miss it even though this we have this wonderful gleaming new set is that it was something that was used to its utmost capacity of durability it was used until it just couldn't take another show and there's something about that that is so blue man but also so wonderful to um, we don't we don't seem to squeeze the life out of anything these days. We're, we're such a, it's such a disposable society. Now this new instrument is gleaming clean on the inside and you can really tell it's bright and clear and loud and, and um, it, sounds, it sounds like it was initially intended to sound now. When I get asked about, you know, what is it, what, what's the show, what can I expect? It's a very difficult question to answer because there's so much to it. It's not a stage in an audience, it's a room. And, and that is probably the, the most important thing about our show, is that we're all in this room together, we're experiencing this in real time. The moment you can see the Blue Man, we're interacting with the audience, and our chosen voice is percussion. So we have drums, a whole battery of drums, large, smaller drums, that we play in this sort of very kind of primal taiko style with paint on them, so there's a strong visual aspect. Like anything else with Blue Man, we don't do anything that's stock. We don't do anything that's right off the shelf. And the drumming style that we have in the show is not a drumming style that pretty much anybody growing up playing the drums would innately know. We essentially have to teach drummers how to play the Blue Man style. People, myself was a drummer. I had to learn how to play the Blue Man style. We can, we can sort of build a, a drumming Blue Man up from, the, from almost no musical experience. We find the Blue Man in the people we see. We, we don't necessarily have a, a cookie cutter um, profile that people have to, have to match. We see women, we see people of all different um, backgrounds uh, in terms of theater or non-theater. In our cast right now, we have a, a, a person who was working as a scientist before Blue Man Group. So we, we really say, just come and then we'll figure out the rest.